Hello and welcome again to Eswakago YouTube channel where we inspire, we encourage and we inform people. And today is another day that the Lord has given us so that we can sit down here and get to reason together. So today I just want to go straight to the point because this is something serious. It's not the usual talk that I hold. But you know what? We can make it... Um, you can also contribute on the comment section and tell me if this is true, if this is something you have also observed or could it be me looking into people uh, with the bad eyes, you know. So yeah, uh, after staying here in America for a while, I have realized and I'm saying this without due respect because you know I am African, nothing can change that. I'll forever be African and for your information I would never ever want to be associated with any other continent other than Africa and I'm also American anyway so yeah that's true I'm American I'm American African American I'm African American so yeah and far from that I have realized that we Africans, sometimes we tend to be very ignorant. It could be because of the cultures that we had, we were brought up with. It could be because of, let me just call it ignorance. And sometimes we lack the wisdom that is required to deal with certain situations why because according to how we were brought up there are things that weren't they were not put into much consideration like they would be or they are they ought to so um i want to talk about uh dealing with the loss being an african versus dealing with the laws uh being an american where they have put awareness of um, the acknowledgement that when one goes through loss, and when I mean loss, I mean loss of a, a loved one, there is that duration or there is the mental, uh, let me call it torture, because you go through a lot mentally, psychologically, emotionally, physically too. Like you go through a lot and in the African um, society, when people come and they help you to lay to rest your loved one, to lay your loved one into uh, rest, the final day, that is the burial day, they just are finished and they go and they expect you, you as the victim, they expect you to be okay. Because you know what? they say tomorrow is the last day we're gonna conclude this so when they, they finally lay the dead the, 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 the loved one to rest and they go back to their homes even the relatives nobody comes back nobody even bothers to go to the family members to ask them how they are faring if they need any therapy how they are coping with the loss how they are coping with the grieving uh, period or anything People just go their ways and that's it. And you, as the victim, they believe that you're supposed to be very, very, very strong. Yes, you had a, a loss, but you're not supposed to, you know, the grieving period, they believe it was over the same day they laid um, the, 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 the dead to, to rest. But is this the case? No, because a human is a human. I only came to... Uh, observe this a uh, few days ago and I know most of you will be um, you know of what I'm talking uh, about a girl uh, who just the other day was all over the internet because she she posted someone's stories and I listened to the live video on Facebook and that girl when I observed her away from what she posted away from uh, whatever was going on but i could only see a girl who has been through loss 
who has been grieving who is mentally not okay because she's not okay psychologically no she isn't so i could see how people attacked her and i felt so much pain let me tell you i felt so much pain because most in most cases people don't understand what is, what is going on in your life the loss that she has went through she lost the mother i believe the mother was sick of cancer if i'm wrong just uh, correct me down on the comments and i also heard something like she also lost a sister so now the role she was playing as a as the big sister in the family it was the role of a mother who was trying to protect the siblings and very few people could see this she was just trying to protect the siblings and she was overdoing it if i'm if i'm not wrong she was overdoing it because she couldn't afford she couldn't afford to lose more than she has lost in terms of property in terms of things in terms of uh, somewhere to live or anything she couldn't so she still has the trauma of uh, losing some loved ones and now she could do anything to protect the siblings i know so many people couldn't reason like this they only saw an evil girl i do not think that girl is evil i just believe she's she's been through a lot and she has seen a lot in terms of a uh, loss and all she's all she wants now is to to be the mother she lost to her siblings and since she's not that old enough all because of her age it is sometimes she times she sometimes process it in the wrong way and instead of beating her as the online in-laws we online in-laws you know online in-laws are never good to anyone they just wake up one day and they bash you tomorrow is another one so me i just want to focus with the girl it had nothing to do with what had happened that is not my focus that is not the area of my focus my focus is this girl has been through loss and i do believe losing a mother is painful losing a sister on top it's twice painful so if you expect this girl to be to be just um you know with my understanding and the story that she gave that her intentions were not meant for whatever took place but that being said and the platform she used it shows how much um determined she was to get uh, the siblings a house and i'm not defending her all i'm saying is this girl needs some therapy this girl needs some love this girl needs some assurance that things just gonna be okay so whatever she was fighting for maybe um using the wrong way but just know that this girl is someone who has been so much lost and if she sees or if she senses like there is something that is gonna take more from her she she can do anything so my point was we as africans do we ever think of coming back to someone who has lost a loved one and get them through the grieving period in a nice way without judging them with just letting them letting them feel how they are feeling without um telling them they shouldn't feel this because they are this they shouldn't cry because you know what they shouldn't do this you know they shouldn't dwell there for so long what long is long for a person who has lost a loved one to grieve seriously i think it is um as long as they can get through it that is my thinking and i think that is the right thing to just let them grieve the best way how they know and 
to help them instead of just before you attack someone before you hear that i did something there is always that something that triggered that something to happen so let's be people who can look beyond because i know so many people are ill mentally they are ill but they just walk out there showing you the faces that you guys want to see because if you see them crying you're gonna say mm, she's been crying for too long you know what she's not the first one to lose a person you know that is so mean that is so mean because the other person who lost their loved one is not this one so let people be and i would want our african people to learn that they should give people or they should they should always try to see things the right way other than just coming in and start to troll someone calling them names because they acted in a certain way especially if someone went through loss there is that trauma and depression which might lead people to be very bitter and to always want other people to feel how they are feeling because nobody cares around them nobody even seems to care what they are going through and the only thing they can do is to maybe create an awareness but now in a wrong way but deep inside their hearts they are not that bad they are not that evil only that pain has dwelled has dwelt uh, too long in their hearts and they have some woods very big woods that nobody else can see unless you want to look through someone's eyes and see their heart because that is very possible but people just look through you and what they see <coughs> i could see how people described her heart and how ungrateful she is and so many things but you know what i think she's just a young person and she has a chance to correct where she was wrong and more than that she really needs help and someone to take her through therapies and just uh, assure her that everything gonna be okay and the siblings gonna be okay and someone who can mentor her i think she's just um she's just i would just say she's a brave girl who wants to protect the siblings that were left by uh, the mother so grieving period is hard and grieving period not so many people can understand what you're going through but the best way is to understand people from their point put yourself in their shoes and try to walk at least 100 meters and feel how it feels that way you'll be able to sympathize with them so guys i just wanted to talk about that and hopefully people will one day allow themselves to fit into people's shoes and feel how they feel it is only through that that you can be able to treat people right you can be able to sympathize with them you can be able to pray for them so that they can be the best person and also to support them with prayers is not a bad thing and moreover not to judge anyone not to judge anyone and feel someone else's loss like your loss so guys uh bye bye and i'll see you on the next video i think this video have been so serious than you guys has have ever seen me but i just felt so much uh pain and i know so many people can relate with this that nobody understands a grieving person in the african society and hopefully one day things will change and they will understand and as i come to finish here in america they create awareness they teach you how to deal with a grieving person they will tell you how they feel they will 
try to make you understand what they are going through, how they feel, how they would want to be treated, how you can support them so that they can go through the loss easily, make their journey easier, not harder. Okay? So guys, uh, bye-bye. May God bless you and do not forget to keep on keeping on because that is our motto and we must win. We must triumph and victory is ours. Bye-bye guys and I'll see you on the next video.